Have you ever wondered why VLC is still the go-to video playing software for a large percentage of PC users? Well, that is because it is an open source software which has an easy integration and even though users might not be aware of these attributes or not even care about them, that fact even makes it clearer that users just love the experience and how VLC serves them. Flipping to Android, there are also some open source video playing applications which are very smooth handles playback so well and also consumes less data from your phone and to top it all up, do not have ads. Mind you, most third-party video playing applications lack these attributes that I've mentioned. So here are some open source video playing applications which you must check out. The first one is called Next Player. This one comes with a clean and simple Material U interface, eliminating clutter and providing a simple and straightforward experience. One thing I like about this one is that it only shows you the forwarders containing videos instead of having to navigate to external or internal storage before choosing videos to display. And for the playback screen, you've got the basic gestures to increase brightness and volume and swiping left and right on the video for fast forwarding and backtracking. You have the option to select audio track which is useful when you have a different audio track for any video or movie you are watching. Playback speed and subtitle is also available. Pausing a video does not bring up any ad and there is no ad on the entire playback screen as well. In the settings, you can apply several tweaks according to your preference, toggle your preferred gestures in the player settings, subtitle settings, audio settings where you can apply audio boost, appearance settings for customization and more. Second on the list is Nova Video Player, which is pretty advanced and feature packed compared to Next Player. The standout features of this one includes these two audio profiles, Night Mode, which when toggled on creates a slight distortion and reduces volume as the video is playing. And also Audio Boost which adds a sudden volume increment even if the volume is at 100%. Also Privacy Mode which takes away all the latest user data like recently played videos and resume points. Aside playing videos from your phone storage, the app allows you to play video directly from cloud storage. So if you've got a video stored in your Google Drive for example, you can just play it right from there without downloading it onto your phone, which is cool. Inside the preferences, you get several toggles to better your user experience. So maybe you want to replace your default video playing application with a new one, then try out this one. The next one is called Just Player. And this one really stands out from the usual. When you open the application, you are only greeted with a one-page playback screen waiting to play a video. So there is no full-up navigation like there usually will be. The application does not keep folders or store videos. Whenever you want to watch a video, you have to tap on the folder icon to select a video from the device storage. All the needed adjustments are arranged in a bar at the bottom of the playback screen. And it also has gestures for increasing and decreasing volume and brightness and also swiping left and right for fast forwarding and backtracking. You can adjust the speed and audio with the settings icon also on the bar at the bottom of the screen. The next one goes by the name Yet Another Video Player. This one looks kinda outdated in terms of the UI but can be a very good choice if you want a simple and straightforward video playing application. And just like next player, this one does not display internal and external storage folders to prolong your search for a particular video. It only shows video files. There isn't too much going on on the whole app interface. It also comes with gesture for increasing volume and brightness, this time with a unique circular progress bar style. The app comes with a music tab, however it takes a long while to switch to that. And also the music will not play if you turn off your screen. But for the main function of the application which is to play videos, there is no lag. You can find tons of settings like playback settings, gesture settings and general settings which includes the settings that can alert you when you reach a certain low battery percentage. So if you get locked in a movie and forget to check on your battery status, this will keep you in check. Another lightweight video playing application you should check out. Most smartphone users currently prefer open source applications due to the better user experience they offer 
and the best of it being that they mostly have no ads in them and have pretty neat UI designs. So I'm sure you will definitely find a better suiting option from the applications I've mentioned. I also recently dropped a video on some of the best open source music player applications so you can check that out after this one. Kindly consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed this video and also like it and share and as always thank you for watching.